Hello, thank you for joining us. My name is Eli Mercado. I'm a data protection specialist engineer. And today we're going to walk through part three of our series on data protection integrations with ServiceNow. The data protection platform we integrated with is Enterprise Dell Avamar. In this part, we'll demonstrate automated backup remediation and event management. In our previous demos, we've seen typical end user requests. Restore missing files, restore a corrupted VM, restore a deleted VM. Now, what do we do if a backup from Avamar fails? In a day-to-day, -day, an administrator would get an email from Avamar, uh, whether it's scheduled for 8 a.m. in the morning to let you know how last night's backups went, or an on-demand alert letting you know that a VM or backup client failed during the last back, last night's backup cycle. Now to remediate that, we can do a couple things. In some environments, we just wait for the next cycle, maybe it just timed out, and we'll just let it run the next run through the next cycle and see if it'll it'll complete that time. Or if we want to be a little bit more proactive, we can look at our activities that same night, search through our activities log, look at our VM. It looks like our test VM Snow 04 failed, and we can go ahead and click restore. Uh, if the entire backup policy failed, we can go through uh, through our domain, select our policy, and run a backup again. Fairly simple, although you still have to log in to Avamar. You have to search for your job and investigate what happened uh, to the backup. What we did with ServiceNow is we've automated and orchestrated that entire procedure. Through the UI... ServiceNow is actually pulling in events that are happening to Avamar. So Avamar is actually making callouts saying, I have a failed backup. Now, based on that failed backup, ServiceNow is creating a ticket, an incident ticket, letting you know what happened. Now, if we filter for the latest failures, we can see here that we have a failed uh, virtual machine backup for Snow01. And it actually created an incident for us. Now, if we go ahead and click on our incident, we can see it gives us all the information that we would normally see in Avamar. Again, we haven't had the login. This is simply a ticket that was generated for us, letting us know that we had a failed backup, telling us right away that there's no proxy for the VM. That's not a normal uh, failure for backups. This is something that we did so that we can cause a failure, but at least we can see right away what the summary is, what a description of the failed job is, and what the remedies are. Most of the remedies are to just to retry the job. What we did is there's no need to go into Avamar and re-kick off the jobs. Everything we need is built into this workflow here. And we have the option, if you look here, we can rerun the client backup or rerun the entire policy. Now, since it's just one VM, let's go ahead and rerun the client backup. Are you sure you want to re-trigger the client backup? We're going to click OK. And now you can quickly see, if we go back to the service portal, requested items, and we can see that our on-demand backup of Snow01 has started. And it's going through its typical stages. Now, if we had an approval phase, a retry would would go to a backup admin telling them, hey, can I re-kick off this job? The backup admin would, would approve it and it would continue its fulfillment. If we go back to Avamar, we can see our backup has reinitiated for Snow01 with the same backup policy. All right, and if we go back to our dashboard, all of these callouts and incidents are generated here within ServiceNow. So not only are we looking for events that are happening with MMR, we're actually creating incidents so that we can remedy them from our ServiceNow portal. All of these workflows can be customized to meet your needs and business strategies. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see a live demo, please see your sales representative or client solutions architect. Have a good one.